Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here, and today I've come with a very amazing problem. It is potential of infinite sphere. It is continuation of uh, spider circuit uh, part two. You can see the description of uh, spider circuit part one in uh, in the uh, in the link I'll give in the description, right? And guys, liking, sharing, subscribing is uh, love. So keep liking, keep sharing, keep subscribing. As this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and uh, my current courses on Unacademy are uh, course of INPHO Foundation and for J Advanced 2023 and uh, here we will be starting center of mass and uh, conservation of linear momentum. There is emerge batch for uh, J 2023 it is J advanced based uh, batch and uh, in this batch we will be starting uh, laws of motion and uh, advanced courses uh, for J. 2022 in Hindi is going on and there is another course uh, on fluid mechanics that is also for GE 2022 and uh, for the second year topic we are doing uh, EMI and uh, there is uh, another one for uh, uh, it's in English it's a spark batch for uh, GE 2023 guys you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your J preparation you can unlock these courses on an academy using my code Nathan sir and for more info, you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys, trust me, physics will never be the same again. So here is the problem statement. A spherical shell is divided into infinite identical pieces about a vertical diameter along the axis. Each part of the shell is separated by a very thin insulation with each other. Uh, the center of the sphere is at uh, origin. Each part of the shell is maintained at potential with the help of external battery. Uh, the potentials of these parts are given by the values of v0 k v0 k square v0 and uh, k to the power n v0 till infinity the radius of the sphere is r what will be the potential at point uh, 0 0 alpha r you can use k equal to 1 by 2 and alpha is greater than 1 all right so this is the diagram of this uh, problem by the way it's uh, an original problem so here we can uh, simplify this uh, problem <coughs> let's say there are uh, n such pieces capital n i'm giving the number so n such pieces required to complete the sphere and if the entire sphere is at potential of v then the potential at point p, p due to the complete sphere uh, we can say it will be k q by r all right now uh, where q is the total charge on the sphere so at point p due to this complete sphere potential i can simply write because alpha is greater than one so it is outside point so we can use uh, the logic of shell theorem so we can say here the potential uh, at p due to the complete sphere it is kq by alpha r which is uh, v by alpha all right now for outside uh, points we can say so when we uh, since all the n pieces are identically placed so here i can say due to one slice this potential should be uh, vp sphere by n if you are taking n pieces so here for each slice potential is uh, v by alpha n <clears throat> so here i can write total potential due to all the slices i can write it will be the sum of individual uh, uh, slices so v1 plus v2 plus v3 up to vn n such part where n is a large number infinite you can say so this will become v0 by alpha n first one then uh, next one is having k v0 so k v0 by alpha n next one is having k square v0 by alpha n and like this we will have k to the power n v0 by alpha n i am taking uh, n plus one terms here right total number of terms will be n plus 1 uh, because you can see here k to the power n first is uh, it's like k to the power 0 so there are going to be n plus 1 terms so here and I can write this capital N is n plus 1 if I take a small n uh, as number so total number of pieces I can write as n plus 1 in this case so here this potential is going to be v0 by alpha n 1 plus k plus k square to the power k to the power n and k is a half actually in this problem so there is a catch here if we directly take this will be a finite number but this is a very large number here so uh, i am just writing in terms of n so this potential at uh, 
point P due to all the slices I can write it as V0 by alpha n and uh, sum of n turns of GP I can write 1 minus k to the power n plus 1 divided by 1 minus k because k is less than 1 so I am writing in this manner here. Now if I substitute the value of n plus 1 so this is going to be the potential at point P V0 by alpha n plus 1 1 minus k to the power n plus 1 by 1 minus k. I just hope I have applied the correct formula but I think I have given the enough idea to you how to go with the, go ahead with this. I, I remember this formula 1 minus uh, a times 1 minus r to the power n by 1 minus r uh, for n turns. So I am using that assuming that that is correct formula. So this is the expression I am going to get. But here when we are going to do this uh, for uh, n tending to infinity you can see here uh, this number will be a finite number it will go towards 2 but this factor will be very large so overall this potential will be just greater than 0 you can say slightly above 0 vp is a very small potential so this is going to be the answer guys here i hope all of you have enjoyed this uh, problem it's a unique and uh, in the continuation of previous concepts so if uh, you have enjoyed this problem then leave a like share this problem with others and if you want to subscribe my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thank you thanks for watching it